Welcome. KC Food Guys Whiskey Tasting. It doesn't get better than this. Well, if I had some old Milwaukee Light, maybe it would. Anyway, the people at Union Horse uh, Distillery uh, here in Kansas City were kind enough to send me two of their premium bottles of whiskey. The first one being their rye whiskey. And I want you to see something here. Batch one. I feel very honored to have this. Next is the Union Horse Reserve Bourbon Whiskey, straight bourbon whiskey, not to be confused with the unstraight crowd. So we're going to taste some of these and then I'm going to compare it to some others that I have just lying around the house. So this should be interesting. Never done a whiskey tasting before. I'm going to run my own, looked on the internet. Similar to wine tasting, sort of. I even have some of the glasses. These are, I'll call them mini snifters. Um, you want tulip shaped glasses that you sit and they say you can even use wine glasses. I have a couple. And then I even have these mini snifter, I'll call them mini snifter shot glasses. I hope they're not votive uh, candle holders, but they were in with my uh, drinking glasses that I had some inheritance of. And so I have a number of these. So uh, for my final tasting, I'll be using these. So here voila, we go. the whiskey is poured. So I went ahead and poured my whiskeys. I have the rye, the straight bourbon. I also off to the side have old number seven, some Jack Daniels. That's been around for quite a while. I have some special McCormick Reserve. Yes, this bottle is plastic. And then probably besides Windsor, this is my favorite whiskey, Crown Royal. And I don't really drink whiskey all that much, um, but I am excited to try these. One thing I've noticed, um, and I'll pull these in here real quick, is the smell from the Union Horse whiskeys smells way better, um, just more appealing, and the color is much darker. So um, from what I know, these are aged five years in Missouri oak barrels. Um, they started distilling in 2010. So I believe these are some of the first bottles they have produced. So I will be confirming that. But again, thank you uh, to Union Distillery, uh, Union Horse Distillery. Uh, I look forward to trying this out. So again, this is Jack Daniels, this is McCormick's, and this is Crown Royal. This is the rye, and this is the Union Horse Straight Bourbon Whiskey. So let's try these out. All right, first up, try the rye. And I'll... Uh, Put some detail on the difference between bourbon and rye. I'm not going to go into it. I'm going to focus on the tasting. So you said in the tulip shaped glasses, um, basically to um, do some swirling of the whiskey, let it build up some aroma, um, and that way uh, it creates a head on it that uh, you can sniff off of. Nice. Very nice. I'm not going to do shots. Um, this would probably be enough whiskey to put me under the table here. But So that's the rye. Let me swirl it up a little more. Definitely, I, I don't feel that's as strong as the rye whiskey. Um, it's hard to describe uh, not being regular whiskey drinker, but um, pleasant smell. Uh, let's try the uh, Jack Daniels here, old number seven. Definitely do not smell um, as near as uh, alcohol. Well, when it comes to the proof, let's see here. Uh, this is 43%, 86% proof. Uh, the Union Horse is 46%. Or I'm sorry, 92 proof, 
Okay, so this does have slightly more alcohol, but only 3% more. Uh, the McCormick's 40% or 80 proof. And the Crown Royal 40% or 80 proof. So definitely more alcohol in the Union Horse uh, whiskeys. So let's go to the McCormick's. Let's go that around. You can't really smell much at all. And the Crown Royal. Definitely more in the Crown Royal. And if you look at the color, um, and I know they can change this with, you know, kind of what they store it in, but the McCormick's is definitely the lightest of the five. Uh, I would say then comes the Jack Daniels, then is the Crown Royal, and then between the two, I'd say they're about equal. I don't think there's really a, a difference between those two. The other thing um, I talked about is to kind of see how long it takes for the, the drops to come down the sides. Um, let's see how it... Definitely quicker in the, uh, the other uh, whiskeys. So let's get to tasting. I'm gonna start with the rye whiskey here. Um, and look forward to it, batch number one. Pretty smooth. Like it. Wow. It starts to heat up after it goes down. Um, didn't take a lot in. Whew. All right. Okay. One little sip, you can feel it. Maybe I should drink more. Man. like that as well. I kind of sense more alcohol taste, um, even though I know they're exactly the same. Well, this one technically has the most. Um, so I'd say there's more flavor in the rye. Um, you can't exactly describe the flavor. And um, definitely closer to what I normally expect uh, from a whiskey in the straight bourbon. All right. Let's move on to the Jack Daniels. Definitely a big difference there. Um, way less taste. Um, less heat. Less everything, really. Um, you know, after drinking these two, um, you can kind of see why they're a premium whiskey uh, versus, you know, straight Jack Daniels. I know some people love this stuff. Um, I'd say there's just way more flavor in the uh, Union Horse uh, brand. Here's McCormick's. This should be interesting. It's the Special Reserve. Let me show you that plastic bottle again. They really love their product.
might need to uh, clean some paint brushes with this afterwards. Ah. Oh. Man, I can't even hide it. Just, ugh. Let me get some water. There's a reason it's in a plastic bottle. It doesn't deserve anything better than that. All right, now we'll go to the Crown Royal. Uh, now this is one that, you know, in the past, if I ordered shots of whiskey, I'd go for the Crown Royal. Um, I even have a sleeping bag made out of Crown Royal bottles. I used to own a bar. Okay, let's try this out. Um, more taste, definitely, than the other two, um, McCormick's and Jack Daniels, but definitely the, uh, Union Horse, ton of taste to that. Um, you know, when they talk about a whiskey tasting, you think, come on, it's whiskey. Um, especially if you don't drink a lot of whiskey. Uh, but I will say, you know, kind of as flavor goes, the most uh, was in the rye. Um, I felt the the bourbon um, was more of uh, what I preferred. Uh, is it's kind of this was overpowering. Uh, the rye was for me. The straight bourbon it, I liked much better. And you know, and for someone who actually drank some uh, Crown Royal in the past, um, I gotta say. Um, I'd much prefer to drink the uh, straight bourbon from Union Horse. Uh, I think I have some shoes or some uh, paints to clean. Use the McCormick's for that. And then Jack Daniels, I don't know. Ever since I was, first time I had you, we've never got along. So um, if you like your Jack Daniels, well, you can stick with it. But I'm gonna go with uh, what I prefer the most being the straight bourbon from Union Horse. Um, followed by the rye. Um, I think I could, you know, in time get used to that uh, flavor, and much more taste. Um, but I'm going to go with the uh, Union Horse Straight Bourbon. Until next time, KC Food Guys, drinking off.